Okay, students, I just wanted to make a quick video on circles and tangent lines, and so I don't get in trouble for any sort of copyright infringement. This is an image from Brown Sharpie, something or other dot com. Anyway, I thought it was a funny image. This person just off on a tangent, sitting out on the tangent line. So here's a tangent line and a circle. It intersects the circle, it just touches the circle at just one point. So it's not going through the circle, it's just barely touching it. So that's what we're going to look at. So here I have this circle F and an external point Y. So it's a point outside the circle. It's not on the circle, it's not in the circle, it's outside. And I have two tangent lines and two line segments now. So Actually, these are rays, they're not lines, because they're ending here. But this gives me the line segment, the tangent segment, LY, and the tangent segment, RY. Now, we learned a formula in class that helps us find the measure of angle Y. And it's a pretty cool formula. So the measure of angle Y is actually half the major arc minus the minor arc. So, let's take a look. If I have major arc, LTR, and minor arc, LR, and I'm just assigning some numbers here, let's say the minor arc is 100 degrees, then the major arc has to be 260 degrees, because I know the whole circle is 360. So let's use that formula to figure out what angle Y would be. So 1 half of 260 minus 100 is 1 half of 160, so the measure of angle Y is actually 80 degrees. So that's a pretty nice, easy formula. But we said in class that you didn't have to memorize this formula. And here's why. We also learned that if I have radii in a circle intersecting with the tangent segment, then I know those angle measures. Remember, we measured them with a protractor. They're actually 90 degrees, and that's always the case. So if you have a line of tangency connected with a radius, then it's a 90-degree angle. Now I have this quadrilateral here, quadrilateral FLYR, and I know the angle sum of a quadrilateral. So I'm going to use that to help me solve the problem. So let's bring back that arc measure, 100 degrees. I know the central angle must be 100 degrees because they're equivalent. And I know the angle sum. Quadrilateral FLYR is an angle sum of 360 degrees. But I know three of the angles already. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and 100 degrees. So 90 plus 90 plus 100 plus the measure of angle Y must be 360 degrees. So I can solve for that quite easily. That gives me the measure of angle Y is 80 degrees. Take a look at these two angles. Angle FLR and angle RYF. They're actually supplementary. So if you see an arc measure here of 100 and you know the central angle is equivalent, you can immediately find angle Y because you know these two angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So as soon as you see 100 degrees here, you say, oh, I know that's 80. And the reason for that is because you have the two 90 degree angles. 90 plus 90 is 180, so you only have 180 degrees left in the quadrilateral out of the 360. So these two opposite angles must be supplements. So that's a little easier way to solve the problem. Maybe I shouldn't say easier, but more efficient. Anyway, let's take a look at this problem here. Now, LY, so this, this tangent segment, LY, we also learned they are actually congruent, so we actually measured them. RY and LY are congruent. And it didn't matter, like we showed in the GeoGebra, how you can move this point anywhere, and the two line segments are going to still remain congruent. So it doesn't matter where you move this point, the two tangent segments are going to be equal to each other. We can use that to solve problems too. 
because all of a sudden we have a triangle here, L R Y or L Y R, and that triangle L R Y is isosceles. So we know the base angles are congruent. So let's assign a number here. 50 degrees. I like nice easy round numbers. So that would mean this angle here is 50 degrees. So if I have 50 and 50, angle Y must be 80 degrees. So hope this helps. This is actually very similar to a problem from 9.5. If you have any other questions, please let me know.